Hi, I'm Denis, developer advocate at the United Manufacturing Hub. In this five part mini series, we continue our discussion of the main components of the unified namespace. Now, in the previous video that you can find linked above me, we briefly introduced the concept of data producers that publish data to the message broker and data consumers that subscribe to the message broker to read this data. We also explained that the way data is organized in the broker is following a semantic hierarchy. So go ahead and rewatch the video if you need to review these concepts. In this video, I really want to focus more on the question, which data do we send to the message broker if we are, for example, transforming a new plant? And the answer is surprisingly simple. We are essentially going to send the data from a producer, so to publish is it, regardless if there is a consumer for this data or not. This means in practice that when we are connecting a new producer, we will simply send all of its data to the message broker. This way we can decide later which data we need and which data we don't need. And also we can apply post-processing, like downsampling, if it's needed or not. The reason why we do it is that it greatly saves us a lot of time because we don't always know beforehand which data we will need and getting data from the shop floor afterwards is quite a tedious process. And the reason why we can do it is that in OT or in operational technology, the volume of data is relatively small compared to let's say contemporary large IT applications. So our broker doesn't really care if he receives 1000 or 10,000 values um, per second. One important concept that we're um, gonna explain as well is that imagine you have an application that consumes data and this application is in fact a machine learning model that takes raw data from the broker and applies some data processing to create features from this data. One thing we will do once we have the features is that this application will then publish the processed data back to the message broker. And the reason we do this is that imagine if you now have a second application somewhere else that happens to need the exact same features produced by the first application. Well, we don't have to, in that case, redo that application here. We can already pull the ready data from the message broker. This greatly simplifies and speeds up the development of use cases. If you work at a large enterprise, you may know this process as data democratization. The act of making data easily available across the enterprise for any end consumer. I think this is really it for this video. Again, if you want to be more familiar, if you want to have more deep details about which data is sent to the broker, I would encourage you to read this article on the website of the UNH that will also be linked below the video. And if you want to have more information about producers and consumers and the semantic hierarchy in the broker, go ahead and watch the previous two videos of this short series. And I will see you in the next video.